text pro gone bad and just to let you guys know i finally got my website up and running so be sure to check it out at textpro.gonbad.co.nr so basically this is what my website looks like right here this is my home page to my website and i have welcome to my website with an introduction um all the videos that i have on my youtube page will also be on my website in higher quality so be sure to check those out for higher higher quality videos also extra videos this is a new feature i added on my website extra videos basically it's uh, it, it explains itself it's going to be extra videos on my website only these extra videos won't be on my youtube page so be sure to check out um check it out on my website too to check out extra videos um i have all my favorite links on my website including um links to programs i talked about and reviewed in my previous videos site news check this out for the latest news on text for on bad and contact where to contact me obviously so that's pretty much my website uh, i got my website up and running but today i'm here to talk about getting your guys website up and running so just to let you guys know this really costs no money but the only thing that you're going to actually need to spend money on is buying adobe dreamweaver you, this works with any um any version of adobe dreamweaver so you guys could buy any version you want um but uh, you're gonna need Adobe Dreamweaver to edit out your website to make it say whatever you want. I do have the link to the Adobe website on my website, and on the Adobe website you can get a 15-day trial for um, Adobe Dreamweaver. So yeah, but if you want to keep updating your website, you're gonna need Dreamweaver to keep editing it over and over again. Okay, so the first step to making your own website is go to this website right here, freecsstemplates.org/cssstemplates. The link will be in the video description, so don't worry. It says there are currently 306 CSS website templates, so just go ahead and choose any of them. And be sure to make it nice looking because this template is going to be what your website is going to look like. I'm just going to choose something simple. Right here, this looks pretty simple. It's called Curiously Green. And if you click on the picture, it lets you preview it, preview how your website's going to look. And if you like it, just download the .zip file open with WinRAR. You could extract it yourself, but I prefer WinRAR because it does all the work for you. I'm going to extract it to my desktop for easy reach. And go ahead and exit out all of these. And here it is. It should look something like this. It should have just like the basic folder with the name of whatever you just downloaded. If you open it up, it should look something like this. Um, it should have a license. You don't really need the license. You could delete it if you want, but you know for legal reasons You should just leave it there. Um, it's not bugging anyone. So yeah um, you, You're gonna have a default or a style. There's two different um, ones. They're both kind of the same thing They do the same job, but sometimes they'll be named default. Sometimes they'll be named um, style You have an image folder if you double click on that you see there are images in there obviously the image folder um, don't mess with those unless you know your way around um, Dreamweaver and you know your way around making a website, which obviously if you're watching this video, you don't. And the index. The index is the main file. This is basically your home page to your website. If you double click on it, your default browser will open up and it will show your website. This is basically what your website is going to look like, except right now, see as you see it says curiously green instead of saying what you want it to say what i want it to say is text for gone bad obviously well i want to say text for gone bad and i wanted to put like intro welcome to my website but so yeah what you want to do to get that is to open it up with adobe dreamweaver right here open be sure to open up the index file because that's your home page that's the main page of your website once you've opened it up it should look something like this and if it doesn't you're probably it probably looks like this if it looks like this um this is a bunch of coding javascript html whatever you want to call it um and uh yeah if well, i wouldn't suggest going uh, i want to suggest using html and javascript to edit out your website unless you're a javascript and html genius and even if you are i would still suggest um, switching to design view and how you do that just click on the design tab up here once you're in design view it should look like this now at this point on you could just edit it out the way you want it for example it says curiously green right here I'm gonna change it to say tech support gone bad 
and it says curiously green over here too I'm gonna change it to say welcome to my website and you could change it to say whatever you want blah 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 and well yeah. and well a big tip for um, making your own website is whatever you do save your work <clears throat> either go to file and click save or click control s to save it um whatever you do save your work change the name save your work change the heading save your work change uh, save everything you do or else stuff will happen and you will not like it and if you don't save it every if you don't save everything you do you do you're gonna have to start all over so yeah that's a big tip another tip is if you go up here in the title box right here delete what's in there what the title box is is basically when you open up a new tab on uh, when you open up a new tab it says this the tab name up here it says text pro on bad because I just opened up the my website so that's basically what the title up here right here where it says title that's basically what it is so I'm gonna type in text support gone bad because that's what I want the name of the tab to be when the tab opens up okay and just go ahead and save that um, another tip is to get links to make a link on anything just let's say I want the tech this text right here that says text pork on bad to lead to my text pork on bad YouTube page so go ahead I'm gonna highlight the whole word or whatever highlight whatever you want the link to the page to be and go over here where it says link and if it doesn't say link it's probably closed like this you should just click over here on this arrow to open it up and then go to link and type in HTTP colon slash slash whatever the website's name is in this case it's youtube.com slash tech support gone bad and remember to write HTTP colon slash slash instead of www.youtube.com because www doesn't always work so um, HTTP colon slash slash is just more direct so be sure to do that and for the target over here set it to either blank or parent I'm not sure what self and top does but I do know that when you put it to blank it opens it up in a new tab or window if you put it to parent it just opens it up on the same tab or window and yeah and if, if at any time you want to preview your website just click up here in this earth globe thing just click on it once left click and preview in whatever browser you want in this case I'm just gonna choose Firefox save your changes to index and it should open up and this is what it looks like and if you click on this text pro on bad a new page opens up since I set the set set it to blank a new page opens up and goes to my to my YouTube page <clears throat> okay and another thing another tip Oops. let me just close all this okay Another tip is over here when it, go, when it says site, homepage, my blog, portfolio, about me, and contact me. Um, these won't work unless you set up a new page for them. And how you do that is you need to set up a whole new page. And first of all, you could edit these to say whatever you want them to say. You could, hold up, just going to edit this just to show you guys. You could make it say whatever you want it to say. okay and then um well yeah and so after you do that after you change it um just go to just yeah just point it and click it and drag it to whatever you want in this case since I'm not gonna restart Dreamweaver because that takes a while in this case I'm gonna make I'm gonna drag it to one of my images just image one and yeah and then for the target change it to whatever you want I'm gonna change it to blank and then save it and preview it in Firefox or whatever you want and then as you see if oops, if you click on that the new page pops up with the image this is a small image right here in the corner but yeah that's the image a pa page pops up with that image <clears throat> so yeah that's basically what you need to know about making your own website that's the basics and um, so let's say you like this you like how this looks you want this to be your new website so what you do is save it or yeah just save it 